We're down here at the C terminal. It's, this is obviously a quite an important day. We've been, uh, as a press group, been walked through the procedures that come into effect here on Monday when the Isle of Man opens up its borders. Uh, with me is Annie, who's uh, one of the, well, this is your baby as such, isn't it? Um, a lot of work, a lot of thought obviously has to go into this because people coming off the boat are in different categories, aren't they? They are in different categories and we do envisage on Monday to have a load of, of, of people obviously coming to the island who will fall under the different categories. Um, because of the new systems and processes in place, we do expect some to be documented and some not, so we are moving staff down into the, the corridor which you've seen um, today to process applications and help people fill forms in so they can go through the borders. Probably the worst one to do is coming on Monday morning because the, the systems aren't up until 10, so you probably would prefer people to wait until things are better, but it'll be more manual at the first boat, and then after that it should be a QR system for most people. It will be, yeah. Um, so, so the manual system is what we've, we've, we've lived with for the last few months really is, is manual processing but the QR, the QR code um, is the quick reader code and that with the ID will see people seamlessly go through the checkpoint. And once they're through, because it's obviously different for people in cars, once they're through here, again, um, because there's going to be some people who have to wear masks, other people can just walk off, it's going to be quite in uh, interesting to make sure everyone knows what they've got to do. Or... The messaging, we've, we've put out an awful lot of messaging, so when people come in to, under the different categories, they're given their direction notice, and there's a lot of guidance around what that particular person has to do, um, depending on how, how they've come into the island. That information is given at the ports here, it'll be given at the airports, and also to the passengers that are in the vehicle. As well. Let's talk about the vehicles. It looks like a sort of a Disney queuing ride system. All the, but that's that's part of the process. I know you want to get people off that boat so it can be turned around. Yeah. But people will then be put in these lanes. They'll be put in the lanes again. It's like the passengers. There'll be passengers in the cars. So effectively, the cars go into the lanes, and again, it'll be the same processing of the, pe the, the passengers in those cars and out. Those who have completed with the documentation. Um, obviously, the, the first couple of days is going to be a lot of manual processing, so it will take longer. But it, but over time, they will have the QR code, their ID, zap them through, and they'll be gone. The point there you're making over and over again, and it's obvious, is get your documentation done. Get your documentation done. And what we've done is we've worked with the steam packet and the airlines to do um, onboard announcements and in-flight announcements to encourage people um, to fill forms in. But obviously, that will be on arrival. But prior to that, at the departure is the carriers are going to ask um, key questions so that the passengers are aware of the, what they need to do. Um, generally, and um, we'll have the leaflets there and we'll also have application forms. On board the scene packet we'll have application forms. Again, they'll be running the announcements. So you would hope that a number of people, a good number, are going to come with the forms completed. So when they come to our offices, it is purely the check. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we are envisaging filling forms, checking and processing, whereas if, if they, the messages that we're sending out are clear, get your forms filled in, on arrival, they'll be checked, processed and through. Because I'm already hearing, looking at numbers, you're about two-thirds up on what you'd normally have on a normal sailing under the lockdown? Yeah, currently, and that's what we've done. We've um, trained up more staff, there's more people on a shift to process, but again, um, the, the extra staff that we're going to put down on Monday and Tuesday is because we are aware there's going to be an awful lot of manual processing. After that, we're going to review and refine because we are encouraging people to do it online. You know, the online system, um, the, the, you know, personally, if you were to do an online, the online anywhere, you go through quicker, and that's what we're trying to encourage. This is about a passenger experience when you arrive in the Isle of Man. So we want to make it as seamless, seamlessly as possible for that, that passenger. And with the borders opening, some good news, because I know there's a couple of coaches on there which therefore potentially have holiday makers, but, and you deal with them quite in a different way. We have, yeah. We're, we're, de we're dealing with the, the groups and bookings. They, they will still obviously come off the sea mm. packet. They'll be directed a different way, but there's a lot of processing done prior to, and then the checks. So they're ready, they're done, and they can go through quicker? They can go through quicker at the border, yeah, but they still are checked. Yes. Everyone is still checked. All the documentation is yes. checked. It's just done as a group. So, here we go. Um, we, As I said at the beginning, Monday morning is slightly different, but after that, it will be a learning curve, I'm guessing, for a few days, but then hopefully uh, the new normal for a while, anyway. Yeah, it, it will be a learning curve, and I would hope that some of you guys who have come down today to support us, you've, you've seen today, if you're down on Monday and then perhaps come down, say, three, four days later, hopefully you'll, hopefully you'll see a difference.